Point three, so temperature is normal. The baby. Can I touch you? Okay. Oh, we bonked her eye. Yeah, she, I think her and a Palomino got into it. Okay, Sweetie, may I touch your leg? That one, I'm gonna say may have come from the Saturday market you come through. That doesn't look as fresh. She's got multiple options. Yeah, yeah, I know she came as fresh as Saturday. Good thing is, there's no real sub-Q edema. It's a good thing. But we do need to boost your, your or give you tetanus anatoxin since we don't know, you've probably never had a shot. That's, so that's the uh, puncture wound there she has. Okay, sweetheart, being a baby, and an eye, it is gonna be fastest and easiest to lay you down like a castration to sew that up. So, oh, no. yes, yes. Oh, no. So let's go ahead and get a halter on her. And then while she's down, even though she may lay down on the leg that I really wanna look at, we can kind of manipulate it. It is a little stocked up from this angle, so there is a little swelling, even though there's not the feel of swelling. Um, it is a little swollen on that, so we will definitely give her some pain medicine. We will start her on some antibiotics because of that puncture wound, and we will do a tetanus antitoxin as a preemptive for tetanus because horses naturally carry it in their manure, so she's been exposed to Lockjaw is the common name for it, and it is fatal in horses, so we're going to be preventive. And we'll go ahead and sew up that wound and try to get her on a good plan. It would heal in, it would leave more of a little scar, so while it's fresh, we have our hands on her. We need to go ahead and get a better look at that puncture wound, so we can do that while she's down too. So we are going to take advantage, unfortunately, of her eye laceration, eyelid laceration, and um, it didn't affect the eye itself though, so that's a good thing. So it's just the right above the eye. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, finish everything else. I am mixing up a combination of xylazine, a sedative, and butorphanol, which is a pain medicine. Um, as the first round of sedative, and then after that we will top her off with ketamine. So the combination I'm using is the equivalent of one like I would do if we were castrating. So I'm just wanting her to lay down on the ground, a little short time period where I can get in and get a good solid, her being nice and still, because of course around the eye, you don't want to poke the eye by accident and all that good stuff. So it just gives me better control of the situation to do a better job for her and myself both. So eyes are always easier to do laying down if you have that luxury, so. So I'm going to take advantage of our luxury today and do that. And again, gives me a better chance to explore that um, puncture wound. Come on, baby. Let's lay down in a convenient way. So yeah, this is a good, if we have a choice of wound, just a good superficial skin wound. So it doesn't go into the deeper structures. So what I'm doing now is just cleaning up. And what I'm gonna do is, even though it was fresh, it wasn't there last night, I am going to numb it, and then I'm gonna freshen the edges up to get it to bleed some, because it will actually heal a little better with fresher margins, as we call it. So we will uh, 
do that. Now she, lidocaine, I know personally stings, so she may jump just a little bit from the lidocaine. Scraping I'm scraping and getting some fresh blood flow there for a fresh margin for it to seal down better. Because the faster you get to wound, the better. Now again, we know she didn't have this at two o'clock in the morning when we left. So we know it's fresh. So I'm just gonna freshen up a little bit more. Just get us a better cosmetic. Again, this is more of a cosmetic. But while we can do the best we can for you, darling, we will. Is horses have when they get their permanent teeth in they will have and even their baby teeth the three sets of incisors so with her she doesn't have her full third set in so she's still young girl so you can actually feel it starting under the gum there but it's not broken through the gum yet so true baby girl Didn't catch the best, so I'm gonna put another one in there. That's okay. She's really starting to lean now. Yeah. yeah, see that little margin right there? So I'm gonna go back and take another bite back here. Right behind this one? Yeah, you put yeah, it? right behind it. So, right behind. Now, the good thing is, we're not over her. If it was her eyelid or self, or itself, I would have to. Um, would it help if I was down here with the lid? Not nah, above okay. works good hands are a little cold so um, I would not be able to go all the way through and have the suture scraping her eye so I would have to stay within the margins of the tissue but we don't have that worry where we're at that yeah. now you notice it swelled a little bit where it's been there today Is that's that, no that's mm, normal you good? Yep, I'm good. Okay, me too. <laughs> well, yep. if I wasn't awake before, now I am. <laughs> okay. Let me give you just a touch more to finish. I need about two more sutures, okay? She is example. Yep. Easy. Good girl. You get a good bite there on the top. Good job, sweetie. Very good. <laughs> good job. Good job, sweetie. Now we've got long mark, uh, long tails, but that's okay. We're not worried about the tail length right now. So that interfere with the tear ducts at all or no? No, no, we're, we're, it's down in the, yeah. Okay. No, we're, we're actually clear of vital structures awesome yeah so we were just all superficial in the skin i figured somebody there would ask that so. yeah somebody will ask <laughs> now what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim this one where it's a little longer so it will not accidentally reach back and poke her eye here we go and we're going to poke clean that one now again it's dark so we're working with a little bit of real life situations of in the field very good sweetheart i'm going to Assess or puncture wound. You can see just barely poke through the skin there. But tetanus, where it is an anaerobic bacteria, it's one of those, as I call it, bite you in the butt because you've got this. You may not notice that in the field. It seals over in two weeks. Then we have tetanus pop up in her. So that's why we're doing the antitoxin that will give us that protection in the meantime. We are have her on the, her antibiotics as well too, so I don't have to worry about this as much. Now we will still monitor this. Yes, there's just a little mild. If I look at it from the other side, I can see more of a little bit of swelling, but it's not hot. It's not soft, you know, underneath there. So that's gonna be okay. We'll still watch it, but yeah, tetanus is one of those, if that seals over and you don't notice it, you could easily have it in there. So we're protecting her with antitoxin, the penicillin, we're watching it. 
So we're taking good care of it that way. The wound went good, went very well. Uh, we just done a little light sedation on her and being a baby and of course being unpredictable, just like any uh, living, breathing uh, animal, human or horse, uh, she decided that she was gonna wake up without warning. So uh, I just needed two more sutures. So I topped off her sedation. We finished them standing. So she didn't react where it was painful. It was just like, she was like, oh, I'm done sleeping. I'm gonna get up and run on you. So, but that's just part of normal stuff. So as you saw, we kind of like, okay, let's re-sedate and finish up. Uh, we checked out her puncture wound. So overall, her sutures look good. Biggest risk on them is watching that she doesn't rub her head, rub them loose on us. If she does, we'll have a little bit of a skin blemish, but again, we'll treat that as we need to. So everything pretty much, unless she throws us something really weird, is all manageable issues. So. Yeah.